so glad I'm it is it is and yeah. and the last hello Blair hello. uh and the last what is it here uh oh god she's shedding okay <laughs> so welcome everybody nice to see everybody back again I know they've been like I went on a trip and there's Natalia and then uh Nicole there's Natalia trip, so forth awesome yeah I know there she is. There she is. <laughs> well, I wanted to say something as we as we chat. Um, I want everybody to kind of say conscious Blair. <laughs> Hate to single you single you out, but and Jen, <laughs> stay fairly conscious. I've got some really nice messages. Um, came in pretty strong. Um, Justine and I had a little conversation after the last session because we were in the room and everybody else was on Zoom. You were away, Blair. Yeah. Okay. And a subject matter came up, which I will address. Um, but some very interesting stuff came out that I think would help everybody. So try to stay conscious when we get in the zone, please. Okay. 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 <laughs> and if not, not, I can post it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad. Okay. So I guess I'll report today since I'm already doing that anyways. And we don't normally we don't always report it. Sometimes we do, but I'll report it and get it posted. So um, but, anyhow, it's good to see everybody. I went on a trip and had lots of, uh, seems like monumental, kind of not really, but like, you know, significant things where I went to a, I was part of a wedding. I uh, put my mom in the ground. We did her funeral and, um, and then I let my kids go see um, my husband's, my deceased husband's parents for a little bit. So anyhow, I had a big week. Nicole went on a trip to, to go to Florida. Sorry to hear about your mom, Blair. Oh, that's okay. We're, you know, it's part of it. But thank you. Anybody else want to share anything that's been going on for them? I've been snowed in and bouncing around the house again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you go skiing, though. You go I know. Skiing. I was just going to say I'm not ski. trapped in my house. I do ski on every every day. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty trapped. <clears throat> As you know, six feet of snow, you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> Do you just go out the front door or what? Um, actually, just right below my house is the forest line, and you just oh. go through. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, perfect. Neat. Yeah, they come now we have the grizzlies guy. coming out, so we don't get too carried away. Are they waking up already? Yeah, already. That's what they're saying the around here. I was like, you guys quit jinxing me. Like, I haven't seen any yeah. tracks, but you know, people keep saying it, so I'm like, crap, they're making that energy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, say yeah, yeah. Can't, can't cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> take your bear spray. <laughs> we do. We actually do take our bear spray. Yeah, but, but yeah, that doesn't good. Mean, yeah. Although I've always thought when the bear spray, you got to be pretty close. I think I don't ever want to be that close. <laughs> They're huge. Anyway, I'll throw. I'll throw it at him. <laughs> So for me, what's been going on, I've been doing more cleanup at the apartment, uh, finding even more old documents like oil change wow. receipts and like my daughter's daycare evacuation plan. And she's in high school now. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh shred, destroy. Uh, I'm still picking Sounds like my... it's about time. Yeah. yeah it's <laughs> just folders that you file it away and then you look at it when it comes up. I love it. And it's coming up. So now I'm taking care of it and um, doing some other big stuff towards my exit strategy from my past problems. Cool. How are you Excellent. feeling about it all? Excellent. How am I feeling about it? Yeah. Torn. Um, <laughs> some, mm, okay. Here, Here's my feelings. Some of the things at my apartment are from my dad. And he passed away in 96 when I was 12. Um, so there's some things that are irreplaceable um, that I'm going to have to say goodbye to. And I've always had very big attachments to things. Like, I have a feeling that part of my gift is that. You, Alyssa, you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Hang on. I'll, I'll do the rest. Oh, shoot. I just kind of blipped out for a second. In a moment. Okay, yeah. so, okay you're fixed. Go back. 
I don't know how to use technology. I'm sorry. <laughs> Join the club. But yeah, for me, it's just a process of learning how to let go of things and give away that attachment to the item. So that's that's Good. me. That's a growing thing. That's yeah, a growing really thing is. for sure. And keep in mind, you can take a picture. I mean, we couldn't have done that 20 years. It's 30 years ago, you know? But Not you, as easily, um, but... Yeah. 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 Right. right. So, Remember, there really isn't any past. And if we live in the past or even in the future, we're not living in the now and enjoying the creation as it is. So to live in the past is kind of wasting the now. And, and it yeah. really doesn't do serve you. It does not serve you. I just gave that talk to one of my best friends who's living through his own version of now. Actually, right now I'm in his house and I helped buy this yeah. house because it's, it's my ex-boyfriend. So my ex-boyfriend's going through his stuff and yeah. But you know, um, you're, you're putting it out there. You're also putting it out there for you. You're saying it for you. It's not just for them. Right. Yeah, precisely. And it's helping yeah. me grow. So that's, that's what I'm doing. And that's, awesome. I don't know, humaning. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. Cool. Good, good, good. That's all the energy's working on us. It's great. Keep it up. Yeah. Beautiful. Anybody else want to share? Oh, Nicole looked out. <laughs> Kelly, how are you doing with your transition? Oh, how are you feeling? You were, you were ill. How are you feeling? You're muted. You're muted. Yeah. I'm feeling you're good. muted. I'm better. <laughs> um, <laughs> good. And then I think the, yesterday I was really cranky. I don't know if the energies are crazy, but um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm a little stressed about doing taxes. <laughs> I haven't done it. Oh, all. please. <laughs> oh, please. I know. Wait, let's not even get to that subject. <laughs> Uh, Hopefully there won't be this kind of government where we have to pay taxes shortly. This I know, is, uh, I know. Whole, I'm tired of this. It's like, hurry up already. It's tax time. <laughs> I don't want to pay the taxes. Hurry up. I know. <laughs> so I'm good. Yeah, good. Well, I think the energies are, uh, that. that's what we say every every week is the, is the observation of things. Don't get caught up in your moods. Just kind of ride through it. And just, it's a higher understanding. It's a higher way of dealing with it and, and right. because well i had the tooth pulled and i had the thing and i'm kind of tell you what you talk about going through some physical stuff and as i the novocaine long story but i won't take long the novocaine did not take he kept on shooting me up he says i can't give you any more the body will not assimilate it everything was numb but the spot he was working on hollow <laughs> so i just all i did was i i <laughs> would breathe center myself Call in my guides all of a sudden. <laughs> Three centuries. <laughs> <laughs> For an hour and a half, he says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my body's not taking it. So we're right. apologizing to each other. But I got through it, and and you just you get through it. It's like childbirth, you know, you just you get through it. Um, so when you when you notice a bad mood, just say, Okay, I'm in a bad mood. This too shall pass. Um, with everything. With everything in life, no matter what's in your life, is the best. Uh, that's how I handle it anyway. After all these years. <laughs> How's your tooth, Natalia? Oh, you had a tooth too. Smile, Look, Natalia. You can smile. smile. There you go. Yay! Smile. <laughs> Hi. Well, this is not the final product. I have to go tomorrow for like, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I totally hear you, Janil. It was like when I went, I thought like I was facing like a nuclear disaster, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is not pleasant, playing. no. No, yep. and you know, like it's right at the front, so it's so like uh, you know, it's scary, right? It's like yeah. But I was like, Jesus, please save me, <laughs> help me. He's like, the dancers is so, I mean, it's just such an angel. He's like, hello, I'm not Jesus, I'm Dr. Octavia. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh boy. Oh, that's cute. That's funny. Yeah. 
And yesterday I went sailing with my friends. Like it was so beautiful, like really so, so much fun. And I'm just hoping to like be productive this week and call in like more abundance and just good vibrations. Good. So yeah, I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. Good. Great. <laughs> we're happy everybody's back again. Like I said, we were kind of the um, bare bones group on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but we thought about you guys. We thought about you. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Anybody else want to share? No. Okay. There she is. She's back. Yep. Okay. Were well, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. So you want to do the qigong? Yeah. Get our. We did our mind. Got to get our body, body and gear. So we probably need it. <laughs> okay. So let me turn this around. Okay. So we start with the bouncing. Ooh. Bounce, 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 bounce. There we go. Just kind of shake. I say bounce, but you can shake. Whatever feels right. Just loosen up now that we've been sitting for a few minutes. Just kind of woo, do the twist. You remember the twist? Oh, it feels so good. Okay. Uh, I'm just stop and just relax for a second and feel that energy kind of tingle if you did it right. Okay, we'll do the head roll. So you drop your head down to your chest. Relax. Drop the shoulders. Whew. And breathe. And then roll over to your left, over your shoulder. Feel the stretch. Good. All the way down to your fingers. And roll the head back. And just drop it as far back as you can. You want to open and close your mouth a couple of times. It would help stretch those neck muscles too. It looks crazy, but it works. Okay, breathe. And roll the head back to the left. And you can do this on your own too, and you can do it a little faster if you want. I like to do it slowly and get really involved in it. Mm, to the front, drop your head down to your chest. Feel a stretch in the back of your neck. Breathe, drop the shoulders. Back to the left shoulder again. And all the way back, just let the head drop backwards. Into the left shoulder again, roll it around, and roll it down to the front. And really drop the shoulders and breathe. Okay, now slowly roll it to the right, over the shoulder. Feel the stretch all the way down the neck, down the arm. You can even wiggle your fingers a little bit. Feel that stretch. And roll it to the back. And roll it to the right. Down to the front. Drop your shoulders. Drop the head. Breathe slowly, beautifully, deeply. One more time to the right. In the back. Don't forget to breathe deeply. Back to the right. And down to the front again. Just relax and just drop those shoulders. Breathe just like a rag doll. Okay, good. Okay, now we'll do the fingernails. Put your fingernails together and go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wake up your meridians all over your body. Zap, 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 zap. 
feel them kind of waking up, kind of, you can even visualize it from your toes all the way up to your legs and your torso, all the way up. Open up those meridians, say, wake up. Let's clear that energy field. Okay. Now we'll get real, do a releasing exercise. You want to stand front, tip at your left foot out to the side, reach down, pick up that beautiful white light, see it or just feel it, just know it's there and wash away. Release all that does not serve you. Breathe. One more time. Reach down, stretch that body. Pick up that white, beautiful little light. Wash away and just say, releasing all that does not serve me. Okay, back to front. Pivot to your right. Reach down. Pick up that beautiful white light. Just pretend it's just washing over you. Releasing everything that does not serve you. One more time. Release. Oh, it does not serve me. Okay. We'll do that fairly new one where you take your fingers. You want to tap that fleshy part right there as you're hitting the back. And it's an easy sway, sway. Sway, the body sort of moves itself. It's, think of immune system. You tell your immune system you're working 100%. You're waking up oh, a door of life in the back. Become one with the body, be conscious of the body. It gets to the point where I don't want to stop, just an easy swaying motion. Okay, good. Take your hands like you're praying, cross your thumbs. We want to reach up ooh, just as high as you can. Watch your breathing, Justine. You want to drop down slowly. You want to connect with the floor and pretend, see, whatever. Just know there's a golden thread of light and love coming up from Mother Gaia. Pull it up. Take it around, bend back as far as you can, but don't push it and send it around your body. Do that one more time. Exhale, inhale, pull it up. Send it back around your body, feel the energy. Exhale as you're going down. Inhale as you're going up. Send that golden light around your body. One more time. Pick up that golden thread. You can't see it, just pretend. Pick it up, send it around your body. And the last time. Exhale and inhale as you're pulling it up. And exhale. Okay, good. Now you want to pull up real high again with your hands open. You want to pull energy down from the sky. Just slowly pull it down, slowly towards your body. Breathe, punch your abdomen out in the inhale and exhale. Pull it in. And stop your hands in front of your lower down chin, turn it towards you. And just pull in that beautiful energy that you just pulled down. You look all over your body. Breathe. Feel that energy in your body. You are one with your body. Drop your hands down. Just let that energy take your body to where it wants to go. You are grounded, it's fine, just let it sway or just stand still, whatever it wants to do. It's clearing your energy field. It's balancing your energy field. You 
Okay. Oof, I can do that all day. Good deal. Okay, girls. Wow, that felt good this morning. I don't know about you all. <laughs> I needed that. It, it does become a meditation. That's the, the goal of Qigong is to incorporate a meditative state into the physical. And it's, uh, when you really get into it, it's quite rewarding. Okay, should we do, do this? Send some energy to each other. Take a deep breath. Oh, this is so cute seeing everybody's hands. Take a deep breath. Think of the energy. I am all that I am. I am divine light. Divine light, I am. I am divine love. Divine love, I am. And I'm sending it to you, the person on my right. And I'm receiving it from the person on my left. The love energy. We are forming a collective. Yeah, beautiful. Breathe, center, send the energy. See the energy, see the love. Okay, really nice. At this time, I want everybody to close their eyes, stay in that state and envision a golden vibrating ball in the middle of our circle. It is a protection shield ball. But you see it vibrating, beautiful energy. And it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger. It is a protection shield and bigger till it's encompassing all of us, no matter where we are. We have it as a collective. Nothing can enter this protection shield as a collective the Christ consciousness, the love vibration in our higher selves. Okay. <clears throat> now in the state, envision the white murk of a star at our third eye. It's going down to ground us to Mother Gaia. Now it's going down, down, down through our bodies. You can't see it, that's fine, just think of it. Down through all the chakras. Down, down, down. Out the body into Mother Gaia. Down through all the layers. Down, down, down. Now into the center of Mother Gaia, feel the love, the energy. She's here sustaining us in 3D. Be grateful, thank her. Anchoring in there and grounding us. Now that we're grounded, we're going to start the journey back up. Look, the star starts up, up, up through all the layers. Up, up, up. Stopping just below our feet. There's a spinning platform of protection as individuals. And out of this platform rises a cylinder coming up, up, up over us. With another spinning platform on top. This is an individual protection shield. Again, nothing can enter this shield but the collective consciousness of such individuals, Christ consciousness. 
and our family of helpers. Now the Merkma star is going to balance and light up all our chakras. <clears throat> and the root chakra, red, lighting it up. Spinning, spinning so bright, beautiful, like a ruby, shining, sparkling. It is now, yes, balanced. Now the Merkaba star travels to the sacral orange to ground us even further. Spinning, 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 light it up. Beautiful, bright. It is now, yes, balanced. The star now travels to the solar plexus yellow. Lighting it up. Like the sun, so bright, can hardly see it. Sparkling, open, open, open. Let that light in. Open, open, feel it. Feel your source. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Yes, it's now balanced and in harmony with the others. The work of a star now travels to the heart chakra green. Lighting it up. Beautiful, sparkling, open, 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 like an emerald shining brightly. So beautiful, love, compassion, healing. Open that, open that. Let the light in. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Yes, it is now balanced. And in harmony with the others. Now the Merkaba star goes to the throat chakra, lighting it up. Beautiful, open, 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 speaking your truth with love and compassion, but always your truth. Spinning, 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 open, open, yes, speaking your truth, yes, yes. Yes. It is now balanced in harmony with the others. Now traveling to the third eye chakra, indigo, lighting it up, sparkling like crystals, open, open, light in, light in, hearing truth, only truth, hearing truth, open to it, open to it, no matter what, open to it, spinning, spinning, it is now balanced and in harmony with the others. Look of a star now travels to the crown chakra of violet, lighting it up. Open, open, feel that light, feel that light, let love open, open, out into the universe, in, 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 in light, in, 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 and share your light to the universe, because of who you are, like spinning, spinning, yes. It is now balanced in harmony with the others. The Merkaba star travels out through the crown chakra, up, 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 see it go, up, up, to the galaxy, to Andromeda. We are now grounded into Mother Gaia. We are protected. All our chakras are balanced, lighted up in harmony. Our channels are now open. We welcome in our galactic family of helpers now. The archangels, our higher selves, our spirit guides, our ancestral families. Now staying, staying in this beautiful state of oneness. Hear me. Hear the message. As we come more awake and grow spiritually to our true selves, you may often feel you have one foot in two different lives. You need to embrace that. You are in a play. Enjoy it always knowing that it is a play. See it for what it is and love the people in the cast with you. They are doing a great job in their roles, and so are you. 
So play your part and also connect with you, the actor. You are both. Hold on to that. If your part seems a little disconnected, it isn't. You chose this role, and so they did they. So have fun with it. Accept yourself in both realms. Also, the message came through, forgive. Understand what this creation is and your part in it. There is nothing negative to hold on to. No anger, no guilt, no sadness, no loss. These are all part of the realm of 3D. Your soul is pure and from source. All has been experiences. Let go of all the past lives and their hardships. Let go of all in this life that does not serve you and forgive. Nothing is so important that it should take you away from your center of light. Walk in that light and love. Third message is you are helping to create this beautiful earth, Mother Gaia, by being in a positive flow each day. Know and collect and connect with your power to be in that flow. Know your role. Don't don't be okay. Don't be afraid. Um, there's no fear. There's no anger. There's no nothing. You are protect. You are protected. You are being protected. You are being led. All is good. All is right. Never question. Never question. Go to your heart center. Go to your heart. And follow it. Don't question. No, 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 no. Don't question. Listen. Listen to the whisper. Listen to the feeling. Get to, get to know. Ah, ah. Get to know your feelings. Get in touch. They've been locked, but they are unlocking now. They are unlocking so you know you know what to do and you know, yes, 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 follow and trust, follow and trust. If you live in the light and you release negativity, you will be, you will be led for the proper thing. You are being led, but you just don't necessarily re recognize it all the time. So know that, trust that. Again, no anger, no sorrow, no loss, only joy, only love. You are manifesting it. You are making it. So make it good. Oh, oh, message. Oh, how must say in in all with light and love. Come in, all with light and love. Come in, if you will. Yes, yes. What? What? Um, oh, あ、ほら、ないと、あんねて、あんねて、おまて、あんなかせ、あ、いいのな、なってさ、あ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、
Yes, yes, Kahali, Pineka Sapoto to so to see. Codes, codes coming in, coming in, codes coming in. Promoto, ETC, Milan, and at the TTC, the Lapita, for all, for all, not just one day, Multana, it is a cassa. E promoted to do feel them, feel them, feel them. Yes, 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 because I want to do, oh, release, 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 light in, light in, light in. Palamatana was so toy, see, I'm not going to make a CCC, see, all good, all good, wonderful, wonderful. Mm, not that CCC, not that strong, 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 strong connection. Come on, oh, to not a city, they work on a TTC, to the Casa Nakata CCC. Okay, oh, up, 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 up. Okay, we will go up, Casa Matuno, as a group, as a group, find each other, <coughs> find each other. <coughs> We will go up, Kasurutusu, we will go up and enjoy. Feel the love, feel the love, only love, only light and love, Kasuri Sa. Pula netaka si, si alanate, si ya. Up, 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 su, su, su. Feel it? Yes. We're all here. We're all here. Kasuranate. Pa, 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 with your helpers. Oh, see your helpers. Know that they're there. Feel that they're there. Trust, trust. It's fine. This is love and light. There is no problem. This is what's real. This is what's real. This is in your power. You have powers. You are from source. Know that. Feel that. Take that with you. This is you. This is real you. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is the real you. The love and the light. Yes. Stay here for a moment. Are they saying something to you? <clears throat> Can you feel something from them? No fear, no fear. This is you because we are here to help. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Know this place, come back here. <coughs> When you want, when you need to be connected, when you need, ground yourself and come back here. This is your true self. Okay. Slowly, slowly. Take a couple of breaths. Thank you, guides. Thank you, higher selves. Thank all of who you are, all your helpers, everybody here in the group for giving you this experience. Father Manaka say, come on down. Come on back to 3D, but know who you really are and that you can tap into this. For this is real. Father Manaka say.
you will come back fully relaxed, fully aware. Feeling you've touched something beautiful. When you want, open your eyes. Natalia there, <laughs> laid back. <clears throat> Everybody okay? Oh, that was, uh, Lisa's crying again, beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah. When we were doing the um, shocker balancing at the beginning there, I felt like mm -hmm. just so powerful. Like I have not felt like that I don't think ever and then had a few emotional releases and towards the end I just saw like this yellow light bursting from my solar plexus um, wow that's beautiful great so but that was a release for sure yeah very nice very good <clears throat> Nicole did you get the message of not being afraid or in trust and know that that's really you yeah, um, Justine, Justine too. Yeah, I like the opening of the heart chakra because that's my biggest challenge right now is getting in touch. I've pushed my emotions away my whole life and numbed myself my whole life. So that's my current work is I'm numbing and opening, and I've been doing a lot of work and I've had a lot of really emotional moments. So I feel like I've made a lot of progress, and so I resonated strongly with that. Yeah, <clears throat> that's beautiful. Yeah, your heart shocker is is definitely um, try to work on, on opening that up. And and <clears throat> and I know we talked about this before. Um, the constraints of conventional re religions is is um, pretty constricting, and 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 they 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 form you. So um, that is something to again honor the religion, see the threat of truth, but but also counter a lot of the programming, if you can. Blair, were you conscious for the message? I was completely set up the whole <laughs> so time. <laughs> a couple times I was like, <laughs> no, but I said, oh, no, I got to stay here. So I felt Well, right. I wanted to tell you what, it came in very, very powerful. And I typed it up for myself because I just scribbled as I'm, as I'm channeling. I scribble and then I can't, what the, what did I say here? <clears throat> when I typed it up, it was it was coming up very through, very true. Um. So did you all get that? Did you understand? Did you absorb? Did you resonate with the message? Yeah, I think uh, at least for me that um, just remember, so we went there, we were there. And then at the end, and you were saying, just remember, that's who you really are. It's hard to describe, but it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, in any given situation, you're just kind of observing or existing or being. I always kind of like step back and just notice that. And it's hard to describe that. I don't know. You feel like sometimes I feel like, uh, this is not, this experience is not for me, but I'm still there and there's nothing I can do about it. So yet I'm still there. I'm still present, but I'm still able to observe that. And so it doesn't, things don't bother me. Well, as that's, so that's where we're getting to that. We're all growing to that to that point. And, and Justine, a lot of the messages, if you don't mind me sharing, um, a lot of the message was was for Justine because she felt because of her life, because of her present duties and such, she has a foot in, in one in, in two different worlds. And I, I we all, I think, as we grow, and that was the message, kind of experience that. And it's unsettling because you know there's something behind, you know, calling you and, and there's something different, but you're locked into this identity. But that's when the message, and I was I was hoping this was, it came, it really came for you, but I thought it would be really good for the whole group. Um, uh, two different lives. Embrace it, though, because you're thinking it as a real negative, as a real cowboy oh conflict. It shouldn't be a conflict. It's it's a play, and just realize that you are an actor, and they are too. And you chose it. So as you act, as you love them, and as you're playing this role, be joyful in that 
of the role, but no. And again, that goes back to the, the really the premise of observing, but, but don't, it's not a negative. When, don't take it as, as a conflict. The trick is that when the other people on the other side of your life are not awake and they're so rigid mm-hmm. that they put you in That's a place okay. of expectation, okay. you have to, you know, it's like conform or don't conform. So that's where the struggle is. You can't, I can enjoy this awakening, but I can't enjoy being pushed into this box. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's and, 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 but as your freak, but, but believe it or not, believe it or not, as your frequency raises, you are affecting them. I have seen changes. I just spoke to a, a distant friend uh, down in Arizona, and her husband has a lot of issues. He's been in a couple of car accidents and got on drugs because of the painkillers, and he, very hard to live with. He went manic and blah, blah, blah. Well, she's stuck with him. She's a saint. And, but what is happening, she is growing and she is learning. And all of a sudden, he's beginning to transition a little bit also. Is it happen overnight? Is it, is it like, wow? No, but it's mm-hmm. subtle. So if you work on yourself, you're actually working on other people too. And, and so, yes, they're putting you in a box, but, 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 but I, how I feel about it is just, just keep on developing yourself within that box. And, and know that there's a higher purpose and know that that um, that isn't really you, the box they're putting you in. And and their boxes are not them either. That's what I mean. You're an actor and they're, they're part of the cast. You know, so just kind of kind of embrace, oh, yes, you're, you're seeing me. I can't work. I can't do this and I can't do that. And you're seeing, you're seeing. But in the back of your mind, just smile and just raise your vibration and, and it'll, it'll get through. To- can, can I add on that right quick? Yeah. I love it. And the biggest thing that I was just feeling, remembering, we're like a radio tower. We each have our own radio tower frequency. And once you amplify the frequency, it gets out to more stations, more areas, and people can understand it more clearly. Um, So that's that's an analogy that always stuck with me was be that radio tower of. Yeah, that's beautiful. You you have a that's very, that's very good. You have a secret, Justine. You have a secret that they don't know yet. Mm-hmm. So radiate that secret. I don't know why that came to me just now, but anyway. It's that, kind, that's of, it's kind of interesting, Justine, because, um, I mean, I've had it happen, like, the one time I, and of course, it's this big dramatic thing, right? Like, I, I go do one of these things, and I'm like, oh, there was a big shift. I don't know what it was, but I feel good. We're good to go. And I think, you know, life's going to go on, and then you know, like, wow, I'm really adjusting well to this thing. Right. And then all of a sudden everybody <laughs> in my life. Yeah. You, know, like, you can see, like, if you were to have resistance, how difficult it is within you, but if you allow it to come and flow through you, then it affects them. And then all of a sudden they start having issues or whatever you want to call it, which then starts to affect you. And again, it's another chance <laughs> to kind of calm down and observe, but it mm-hmm. what I think is a little bit fun is that if you're able to go through that, you, like you allow yourself this emotional space and this energetic space, right? And you just exist in it and then you go through it without judgment. Even if you feel nice and calm through that, it is really interesting to watch the ripple effects because if you're just taking notice of it and then all of a sudden they start and you're like, I didn't do anything. Like I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. But yet look at this. I mean, yeah. I know lots of people who have had those things. Like I know a handful of people who have had um, significant others who either were, you know, uh, addicted to drugs or alcohol, or, you know, there was some major issue that, you know, the person doing the work was really concerned about, but knew that they couldn't do anything about it. They do the work on their own. And then magically this other person in their life, it shifts for them. It's that's really- what, that's what this happened to this lady. Yeah. Yeah. Truth. That's truth. <clears throat> because we're all, it's we're true. all higher beings. They're just not in touch with it. And they're 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 totally in their in their role in this movie or in well, this play. You know totally what I in their role. Last week, uh I was having uh I was in class and w- what she was saying was because I was kind of asking them. So I would argue that they are in touch with it, but maybe they're not aware that they're in touch with it, right? So they kind of just respond. And what she was saying, because I was kind of articulating that for myself, well, like kind of I've, I've been doing this my whole life and da da da. And she says, no, it's the the key difference is that you're consciously aware that you're doing that. Mm-hmm. So they're not really consciously aware that they are sure. connected. 
there's still it's true yeah and i'm seeing it i'm seeing the ripple effect in my family of just what i've gone through yeah um so just to explain for the others i'm you know we're jewish and we're orthodox jews like very religious jews um like I have to have my hair covered when I leave my house. I can't wear pants. You know, my, my husband's a rabbi. It's it's a very difficult thing. We're in a very tight, small, very religious Rich. Jewish community here. Rich. And I'm on this pedestal kind of as the rabbi's wife. And it's like a whole. So that's where my, my conflicts are. But my husband is actually opening himself up a little bit. And it's interesting. I was just telling Janelle this um, a few weeks ago. My husband has always talked in his sleep and we, and he knows it. And it said, he says he's always heard this language in his head, but he didn't know what it was. So I used to tease him for years that he spoke in tongues, you know, because he was very involved in religion and whatever. And it turns out we've just discovered it's light language. And he's been able to, he's had this light language his whole life. Uh -huh. So now I think he's having sort of conflicts about, he's sort of opening up inside, but you know, how does this resonate yeah, with the religion? And it's been very interesting. Absolutely. In and he's got a real hurt. So being being the rabbi and being strict, et cetera, he's got a real hurdle, as you do too, but it's certainly doable and you're doing it. So oh, I'm doing what I want. On. I'm doing what I want. And I just, when I go to the Good. services, I just sit there and I do what I need to do. And Good. That's great. And, and you know, just resonate that light and love and, and everybody <laughs> will feel it. I mean, we're amazing, amazing beings with that. And it's happening. Was, it's happening as as a, as a collective too, not just you as an individual. We are being helped on a much higher scale, thank God. Um, so it, it, it's, it's happening. Yeah, and the nice thing about Judaism is it has a lot at its root um, in the Kabbalah, the same as what is in Hinduism, in, in Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And, that thread, a lot that of that is considered <laughs> secrets and they don't want to share it with the public. So they still, it's sort of like more churchy, but, but the belief system is there. And it's beautiful at its root. So it's not like, okay, we're going to throw this religion out because I, I won't. It's just, it resonates with no, me no, no, at, no. Its, at its depths. You know what I'm saying? And I think all religions are that way. At the core, it's solid spiritualism. It's beautiful. It's all the truth we know. But it's been so covered up by layers and layers of and yep. crazy traditions. Ceremony, and, rituals, yeah, rituals, and, you know, and power plays and politics. And it just gets buried. So that's what I take yep. with me when I go there and do stuff is, Beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to just Good. be in the root of it. Well, you know, they say Christianity, the power of prayer. There's a book written on it. It's the power of prayer. In essence, we're doing a prayer yeah. as a collective. So if you get anything in a synagogue, in a, in, a, in a Hinduism thing, anything, it's the energy put forth towards the spirit that's doing it. Not all the ceremonies, like you said, not all the politics, not all the little things that they, each religion does. Um, but it's it's that energy towards a higher higher self, right. and prayer has effect, and they've proven that prayer has effect yeah. in the mm -hmm. science community. It's, 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 it's an it's an intention, a concentrated energy intention to have something done. So everybody's right, and yet unfortunately they've separated us. You you change. You change the frequency just with that prayer that resonates outward. And uh, I'm like vibrating right now. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because we're speaking truth. <laughs> when you speak truth, uh, it, it, it has an effect. That's part of it. Now, the other thing was forgiveness. Um, so whatever, you know, it's a 3D realm is just like we said, the play. So there is no hatred or anger or anything. It's, it's all forgiveness. So if you find I had an experience during meditation the other day, all of a sudden my helper showed me me my throat being cut. And I went, OK. And I saw the, the person and I just looked. and I went, I forgive you. And I sent it away. Negative, negative. You know, I said, did my thing and sent it away. And um, that I felt lighter. I what was very poignant. So even if you can't see a past life or whatever, you have the intention to forgive. Mm -hmm. Have that positive intention to forgive. And um, that was that was that was quite poignant. I, I felt that for, for a couple of days afterwards. Um, you know, seeing it and feeling it and kind of chewing on it, pondering it, <laughs> but um, definitely sending it away. So. Again, even if these experiences don't come to you, just as a whole, have the intention to forgive. Yeah. It's just a roll. Uh, 
Yeah. We're, we're, we're actors on uh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare was very hip. <clears throat> I'd have to delve into his plays a little bit more. I haven't done that, but but his a- actors were all actors on a stage. He nailed it. <laughs> I just heard a channeler that Shakespeare and Mark Twain are the same consciousness. Oh, oh wow. Interesting. Could be. Could be. Mark Twain was very, yeah, Mark Twain was very, very hip too. Yeah. He was very uh, advanced. For sure. And they, and they do. Many souls come here and manifest to to present um, things in, in a way that we aren't being, we don't really know we're being um, educated to. <laughs> right. right. And Mark Twain was a Sagittarius. And his moon, yeah. his, ah. his moon was in Aries, like mine, in traditional oh, yeah. astrology. I love Mark Twain. I grew uh, up in St. Louis, yeah. and that's a lot of Mark Twain in that area. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, right. Cannibal, right. and so that was a big thing growing up, Mark Twain. Cool. Yeah. Does anybody in the group do astrology? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what? what you should mention? What you should mention? <laughs> Yes, I do astrology. I've been studying it for Lucy. We're in three, oh my gosh, like seven years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so Blair had uh, our astrology. She told me what she heard in the chart like, about a month and a half ago. And it's it's really able to kind of like pick out and see and remember like, little nuggets of information. Right. It's not being messed up i didn't break myself this is just what's in my purse um and it's it's resonating and i loved it and blair's blair's great that's all (laughs) and i was like i want to do that yeah well it's like numerology i was turned on to numerology which is fascinating because you start doing the numbers oh wow no wonder yes Mm -hmm. that ties into astrology too yeah, definitely. Does. It's all, all the same. Valid. They're all valid. They're all true. They're cool. The thing that I, I found, found Dramatria, uh, you know what Dramatria is? Oh, yeah. Dramatria is, it's a really, yeah, I wouldn't touch that with 10 foot pole, man. Is that uh, the Bible holy, codes? No? Yeah, it's scary stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. It's, yeah, it's that really, really um, but that's part of it's a huge part of Judaism. It's like they, Whenever they're um, doing a teaching from the Bible, whatever they look at the they look at the gematria, the number codes that come out of it, and they look at the root words okay. and the value. And numbers are very important in Judaism because of the numerical value of those words. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Have you ever heard of Tom Numbers? Tom Numbers is on the internet. Um, he's from England, and he's a gematria genius. I mean, he just oh yeah, a lot of times in what do 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 and he's figuring out a lot and going okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, people have found their names and their birth dates and their history and their futures and everything by the Bible codes. The Bible codes are crazy. Yep. There's stuff where you can even download to look for your personal stuff in the Bible code. Oh, wow. I'll stick to numerology. That Atria is too much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's powerful. Though. I mean, you could probably, I feel like sometimes you can find anything in there if you're really looking, and it might not be, you know what I'm oh, saying? I think you can. It might not be well, your truth, but you're finding it. You know. yeah. yeah but it's interesting because all the, that's sort of the way they describe quote occult which is anything <laughs> hidden right so it you know tarot cards n- numerology gematria oh, yeah. all that like it's, it's all you, valid when you, yeah you when, you when you go to look at it essentially what will happen is it'll kind of like be like someone speaking a different language but they're saying the same thing so it's almost like uh you know to me emotions feel a little a cl- little closer to if we were talking about human bodies like um body language you know like you don't have to speak the same language to communicate with somebody it's easier it works faster right you can get more information across but you don't really have to speak the same language we could drop ourselves in an entirely different culture and still find a way to communicate um so that's more like well emotions absolutely yeah yeah i was at some kind of small house in in dallas and a, a a guru, a lady was supposed to speak and her right-hand man, she was delayed at the airport. He came, really small room, bunch of us, bunch of us, but he was blabbing with some beautiful um, Sanskrit words and such. And I was really taken off at the end. I turned over to him and I said, thank you. And he went like, you're welcome. And I could hear him say, you're welcome. So that that's the kind of thing that we all are capable of, but we're told we can't do it. It's intuition, tarot cards, like you said, um, is basically just a tool to bring out our intuition. 
Yeah, all of it. Isn't that our guides? I always thought that's our guides talking to us because they know we're pulling a card. So they're making the card come up that we need. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah essentially. Yeah. Yep. 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 All it's a tool to convince you, like the pendulum, you know, yep. the pendulum down type of thing. It's all getting messages from, from the higher realms, from you in the higher realms. But we have our tools yeah, I always that we thought, believe in. For so long, I thought, oh, this is witchcraft. This is crazy stuff. And now it's like I put it oh, up. I know. And now I'm like, okay, I'm pulling tarot cards out of my <laughs> this, this app on my well, phone. Well, you should. It generates a tarot card for me. You know? Bye. <laughs> Find something that resonates with you. If it's the tarot cards, fine. Now, the Ouija board was a big thing. They pan, I mean, they've been suppressing all these things for thousands of years. Because now the Ouija board, you do have to kind of watch because yeah. negative influences do get in. You have to protect when you do stuff like that. But it's all valid, too. Yeah. Again, you're like, should I do this? And you just feel, yeah, I should do that. Well, that's a signal from... Your higher self. So the same thing, Ouija board. Go to say yes or no or spell something out. Mm -hmm. so find your tool or not. Just do it anyway. Yeah. Just relax into it. All right, guys. Do you want to schedule for next week? Sure. What day work for everybody? Does that help, Justine, with the, with the two feet and both flat, both worlds, yeah. by the way, before we go? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> So. What is next week? Holy moly, is it April already? Good. Oh, Aries. Uh oh. Mondays are good for me. I don't know about everyone else. Mondays are good for me. Yeah, me too. All right, Monday. I'm free Monday. Okay, you're the third, right? right? The 10 is, is the, the third. Okay, how about you want to do you guys want to shift it to 10? Will that work? Sure. That's fine. Mm -hmm. We'll do yeah. next week at 10 o'clock then. Okay. okay. And that's the third. Yes, it's yeah. a That's okay. I'll make a note of it here with everybody. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Yeah. Thank you guys for showing up. Just Bye. So Bye. 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 Justine, can you stay on for a minute? Yeah. Okay. And anybody else can stay on too. Okay. So there's a guy called um, Jason Shirker. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Jason he has. Jason Shurka, and he has a unified.com. Unified okay, let me speak. <laughs> he has a um, like a social media platform called Unified uh, TV.com, and there's a lot of free stuff on there. And then there's you can have a membership, but he um, he's Jewish and he works. He uh, it's a long story, but um, he has trans or he's working with people to translate a couple books. One's called Rays of Light. It's originally in Hebrew. And one's called the Pyramid Code. You guys were talking about code, so that kind of reminds me of that. And you can find both the original Hebrew version on that website oh, or yeah. the English version or, or many other uh, language versions. Anyway, he's got lots of um, free videos. The Disclosure Series is really cool. There's something called um, TLS, the Light System, and this guy who goes by the code name of Ray is part of it. And he, he's also Jewish. Um, but anyway, the rays of light and the pyramid code might be really interesting books. You can download them for free. It's, it's just an interesting social network for like spiritual people. It's a fairly new, um, I think it's been around a little over a year um, it's from all over the world. It's just growing like crazy because it's, it's, um, it's sharing information that's not being suppressed. And um, anyway, the code thing kind of um, reminded me of that. The, the, the pyramid code, and I haven't read the whole thing, but when you read it, it just reads like a normal book, but apparently there's lots of codes hidden within it. And I don't know anything about the codes, but I don't, you know, I don't know if okay. your husband knows anything about the codes or whatever. Yeah, but I don't think he's in, yeah. I don't think that um, he was saying that you can't really, you have to be given the key before you can decipher it. Um, but anyway, this is something that you might find interesting. Unified, it's U-N-I-F-Y-D. Let, let me see if it's Unified TV or, um, yeah, unified.tv. Um, I think that'll bring it up. Okay. 
I'll check it out. Yeah. It's, it's, Thank you so much. That's pretty sweet of you. Interesting. Appreciate that. Okay. So that, that was it. No big deal. <laughs> okay. See you next okay. week. Thanks so much. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.